focus on leadership, not re-election. I really do think we need leadership, we need vision, and we need a platform to drive innovation around. There is a, there is a gap, but we can fill it, and, and there's a good opportunity to fill it, but we need a, you know, like a new space program to rally behind. We need a mission, uh, we need a platform for growth. And that can start with a private-public partnership, and that's where USCIB can play a key role too. Restore growth through private sector investment, policies that encourage companies to invest. That means long-term, uh, more certainty in taxation, more certainty in regulation, more certainty in energy supplies, more certainty in education, more certainty in dealing with debt problems around the world. It's that kind of environment which will help companies to invest for the long term, which is what we need to get the economy back growing. So I'd say that was the main message. A secondary message, well, not, I don't want to say secondary, but another important message um, was to get busy on global trade again. We seem to have this lapse in progress on trade, and trade is extremely important. It's not just fighting protectionism, it's actually opening markets, and that's part of the recovery program. So that was a very important message as well. I think it's the, the idea of keep focused on the end goal. Don't get distracted by all the things that come in between and understand that economic growth is a shared objective across all of the G20 economies. The benefit of their societies is a shared goal across all of the G20 economies and they have to work on constructive and forward-looking future-oriented policies in order to make sure that everybody gets there together. Yeah, I really think that um Pursuing global growth is probably the most important thing, and particularly within the industrialized countries. As we're seeing, the, you know, the, the developing world seems to be growing at a much faster pace than the industrialized world. But to pursue a, a more pro-growth strategy, which would include things like having the governments balance their budgets, pursue sensible tax policies, uh, look to reduce the size of government and do things to create more of an entrepreneurial spirit in some of these in, in some of these industrialized countries so they could foster more job creation and economic growth which does a lot to lift all countries and improve the standards of living of all of the countries and most importantly in the developing world that's what I would encourage the G20 leaders to pursue. Canada's message has been consistent we need strong financial institutions so we based our view on what's happening in Canada. We come out of this with a very strong financial sector based on sound regulatory reform. We think that's important. So if you take a look at what our leaders, our Prime Minister, our Finance Minister has stated at the G20, we have to have good regulation for the financial system. When you have a sound financial system, you can then have a sound financial economy, and that transcends into the real economy. So our focus has been very much on having clear, concise rules on the financial regulatory side.